What's going on guys? It's Jamie. Just came down here to Cape Coral, Florida. Friends Alan and Tina just moved down here from Wyoming. So they got their cars down here and they need to get them tuned. This is one of them. A little 240 with an LS and a turbo. So we're going to screw with that one later in the week. Right now we're going to head over and pick up Tina's car. She's got a little EG coupe with a LS and a whole set turbo. Go grab that. Talk to Pablo. Go, go meet up with SP Tuning. Go hang out with them, use their dyno, put a wideband in, and then it sounds like we're going to Orlando Speed World tonight. Go see what we can get into there. Made it over here to Alan's work. There's the car right there on the truck and trailer. They've been here about a month, haven't touched the car since they've been here. So it's coming and picking it up. Got the slicks here, got a jack, got the car, got me. So we're gonna head over and meet up with Pablo and those guys and see if we can make it work down here. O&J Performance, we're gonna run in and see if they got a wideband for us. All right guys, this humidity's got me a little crazy. I totally forgot to take the phone inside, left it in the truck. This place, O&J Performance, it's great. They've got so many parts in stock. Had the wideband we needed, sold to us, out the door real quick. Got every, head gaskets, fittings, shifters, pretty much anything you'd need. They got it here. Nice place to know around here. Just made it to DigiPower. Look what we have here. The little juke that could. Hey, we found you guys. How's your Florida trip going? Good, man. It's hot down here, this humidity. <laughs> Woo, I'm yeah, not used to that. It's not super dry like it is up there. Yeah. This is sweet, man. Yeah, this, this is pretty nice. This place is sweet. I like this. Where'd you put the trailer? Um, kind of in the front. Probably where I had it earlier. Probably where he put it. Yeah. Probably parked kind of shitty. Second pool, 408. That's sweet. Who's this one? Uh, his. Right on. Second pool, 408. That's sweet. This is our tuner. Right on. Carlos? Carlos. Yep. Carlos, this is Jamie. What's up, man? How you doing? That's you doing some stuff with yours or? Uh, not here. We're just gonna trim the bumper a little bit to clear the slick, and then hopefully go to the track and ride a nine. Sweet. Be nice. That'd be way sweet. You guys ready for the track tonight? No. No, we just picked up a wideband. She hadn't even driven the car at all since they got here. So I'm like, got to play with it a little bit. Yeah. It's much different atmosphere. Though. Yeah. Alright guys, I know I haven't filmed a lot of this, so we're just trying to get in a hurry here, trying to get it on the dyno before they close, so we didn't really prepare the car at all before we came here. So I just kind of went through the timing tables, checked everything out, we got the wideband all set up in here, and got the wideband all set up, it's reading through the ECU, so then when we go to the track tonight I can see it, but 
I tamed down the timing, you know, check boost cut and all that stuff, being down here at sea level. So, getting ready to unload it and see if we can put on the dyno when they're done. What are we doing here, Poppy? Trying to set up a shift light. Oh yeah, because you haven't had a shift light this whole time, huh? What's a shift light? Exactly. Just drive it, it starts getting loud. Ah! So what all did you change from your 10s? Uh, I got a wider tire. I was on a nine inch, now I'm on nine and a half. We added 125 weight, 125 pound weight plate up front. Uh, now we have a full cage in the car and redid all the wiring. And what, what were you running before? 10-2 at 146. 10-2, so none of that other stuff matters. The shift light's going to make you run a 9. <laughs> Rev limits. And then check your, what your rev limits and then go to shift light. There's another tab for shift light up on the parameters. So just see what your... I'd just go a couple hundred RPM before, what's your, do you have it set up already? I don't think so. Shift light, RPM, one. Yeah, so 94. that's each gear. And oh, each okay, gear, okay. it's going to flip on that light at a different RPM, so, so whatever do. you set it. So that's like, you know, some guys will run first gear out farther, so you can set up each gear yeah. at what each rev limit is. So, you know, start off, go like two or 300 RPM before your rev limit. And of course, my freaking keyboard isn't here, and I can't pull up my on here keyboard. You have a laptop with you? Yeah, I do. You wanna grab it? Like, I like the Android setups that you can do for Honda because it's Bluetooth. But the only thing I don't like about that is that you have to refresh it every once in a while because sometimes it disconnects. Yeah. And then I got this one for 96 bucks on Walmart.com. There you and go. Just Velcro it on. I mean, it's really simple, yep. really basic. Uh, I eventually want to get a better one because this one's like the touch screen on it sucks and and uh, it's not a great tablet. I mean, you know but I mean? we're going to have a shift light now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, for real. Right on. You want to plug this guy in for yeah, me sure. real quick? I don't have it as light as other people. The car weighs 2288 with me in it and uh, it's got a 10 point steel cage, not even chromoly. It's got a 125 pound weight plate and I weigh a buck 90. So it's 20 or something like that. 2096 without me in it, I think. Something Sweet. like that. Then everything except for the windshield is Lexan by YNS Lexan. So uh, the only glass component is the front. There you go. I want to do sports front wheel drive, but I'm not sure if I'm going to in next year. Yeah. So I kept the uh, glass for now. Yeah, I keep the class rules. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're just downloading what he's got here. Here with my new tuner. <laughs> I mean, uh, Carlos uh, is, is inside. I'm just changing a shift light. Don't worry, Carlos. <laughs> is this the PFI approved way to get your started? Dude, this is better than I do. I'd push start it. I'm going to have to drop it. Carlos likes how I think now. Yeah. Is it a uh, push start? It'll be fine. Push start. <laughs> Starter's fixed. So, 
were just asking me if this is about the same power it was back in Colorado. And it is. It, it's not, it's not I think a, we got everything squared away enough here. Now we can just go play at the track. Actually do something with it. You guys yeah. have a wide band. I have a shift light. You know, it should be a great night. Tina, you better run another 11. Just driving it over to Carlos's shop. Uh, just checking all the drivability and everything. I didn't really want to spend too much time on that guy's dyno, so just kind of got all the full throttle stuff. So now just kind of checking out all the drivability. His shop's about a 10 minute drive, they said. So I'm going good so far. Might as well clean it all up. Good scenery. Well. Got over here to Carlos's shop. What a vacation be without something breaking. Tina's truck is missing the belt. And puked some cooling. So her and Yost just went to go get a belt. Loaded the car up. Now I'm done working on stuff for a second. I'm gonna go check some stuff out. That thing sounds sweet. So this is the one they just got off the dyno. Alright guys, belt is on. Let that thing? What's that? Let it good. Oh yeah. Water and yep. Alright guys, we just pulled up to Orlando Speed World. It's what time is it? It's 8:15. Tina is a little anxious, so we're gonna wait to run her car until Sunday, so we're not rushing two hours. You know two hours to try and get a pass get the slicks on and all that so we're gonna hang out with pablo and help pablo out and just kind of check it out let's see that let's see that so what do we do here so wait hold on when it gets to eight thousand, i don't shift you'll keep going till that giant thing there turns a different color that's why we made it so big oh okay so to the limiter to the limiter when it goes pop 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 one pop pop and next Pablo all set up with this shift light. We'll see what this thing will do. I think it's got a nine in it today. So. Yo. We're doing it. You're, you better. First hit. First hit. No excuses. We haven't changed two step from last time, but hopefully it uh, does okay just to try it out. The tire, so we're going to test it at nine, and then it is a test into an event, so happy for the worst, hoping for the best. And you haven't run these wheels and tires yet at all, have nope, you? No, nothing. So much on the car is fresh, I've never gotten a pass on it. Alright, guys. Here comes, here comes La Fea. Is your speed sensor working? You were on the dash? 
I have the check engine. He has a check engine light covering it. It was hitting limiter and two step. What? It was hitting two step all the way down the track. Oh, okay. it doesn't pop off in ignition. Hey, check your VSS plug. The VSS was unplugged? Yeah. So just leave it and get back in line. Make make first match second. So just put all those at 50 and make second match third. I think second will take a lot more. Yeah. What's his two step at? That was, uh, I'm mistaken, I have uh, 7400. Should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so what just happened? So Pablo doesn't know how to put a vehicle in the <laughs> Okay, so hold on. So your car was two stepping the whole track because why? Yost keeps on saying if I don't hit a nine, he's going to have to drive it to nine. Over. <laughs> so miraculous. miraculously, my VSS is unplugged. <laughs> I mean, we could adjust it from the very top of the pedal, put a nut or a bolt right there, but we just gotta find a bolt, I guess. All right, guys. So what we did right here, made a new clutch stop. So, she threads in there, he stops it. He's missing a bell housing bolt, but it's what we had in the staging lanes and the track closes in five minutes. All right, Carlos talked him into one more pass. So we fixed the clutch stop. He's there. He's there. Did not sound like you went into third, did it? No, it's the third. They just rebuilt the transfer tank up and everything. It was on a mission until then, though. 
All right, guys, we just pulled up to Bradenton Motorsports Park. Found where they were parked. Our street tires. I get to see the CTSV here. Tires. That's what I was most excited about seeing coming out here. So I think I just heard over the PA that Garrett was running right now. Dale truck. They carried some pieces back over here. And at least we got Holly. It's getting towed back. Yeah, yeah, my girl Holly's here. Cooper! What happened, man? Uh, broken rear end. No, it's true, they broke the shaft. The dry shaft yeah, broke the yeah, rear end. No, the dry shaft broke with broke. Oh, yeah, here. There's oh. more pieces. There's the loop. Man, this thing is beautiful. Say, so they drove it an hour here, too. Put some ice in the water box. All right, so Tina teched in. It passed with flying colors. It's evidently not much different from redneck Wyoming people to Florida. Still passes tech. Yeah. All right, so can't really see. <laughs> so hard to see the laptop here but just setting up the logger because i'm not going to be here very much so showing alan how to download the log so he can email them to me or whatever we can get some i'll just set the tires uh don't have an air compressor with us so the left one was seven so it's ten we went with seven <laughs> we'll see what it does so all right here's our first pass in florida You like that open diff? She's a little far to the left here, but I think it'll be all right. stuck at that like 12 2 12 3 mark for a long time i've gone 1140s in the car she went 1150 in julesburg once how after we figured out a shifter how hot was it when when she went 1150 um so the 1150 we actually fixed her shifter she couldn't reach it into third uh -huh. so that was her problem for a year so i'm really hoping this was a at least an 1190 she saying, really needs gonna, an 11 9 i was gonna say 1180 she needs something below a 12 so, as long as it's below a 12, I even think she'd be happy with anything right now. Because it left fast. and she yeah. got all the gears. She hadn't raced it in a while. The last time she ran it, I think, was Streetcar Takeover in Denver. Yeah. And she had a bit of bad luck there. And it's been put away ever since. Hi. Alright, let's... Awesome. Yeah, let's see the time slip. You got the time slip? Let me see this. Yeah, I don't care about that. So it's a 12 -0. we were close. 1-8, it spun coming out. So we'll pull some two-step out of it. 5-1-3-30. That was sweet. Right on, good job. Here comes Cooper. 11-7, first hit. What do you think, man? What's it gonna do? I'd love to see a 10. All right. I don't know. Alright, so I wanted to see a 1080 first pass. Yes, that would be insane. That's <laughs> sweet. Alright, so they got Cletus working here. Since he broke his nail truck first pass. So they're making him work. We got Cooper and Jeremy here. We won't tell him we got that on camera. What are we 
look like here? Dancing star. 11, 5, five and 125. Good job, Cooper. You, you ready to go out and run a 10? Yeah. So, is this your leftover parts? Yeah. I mean, it's unreleased stuff. Releasing my video to the public, baby. Yeah, it's salvageable, right? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys so she preloaded really good so the brake didn't hold it but we've been teaching her to preload so that was good so also the other issue that we had the shifter here see it came loose on her that's why she couldn't get that gear so shit happens pipe wrench will fix that all right guys so I just had to run inside and grab my hat. I almost vlogged to you without my hat on. And that wouldn't have been pretty for any of us. All you'd see is a glare off my head. Yes, I'm bald. You don't want to see that. So, it's a little late. We don't want to piss the neighbors off. Um, none of us really know the area great yet. You know, they've only been here three weeks. Three weeks for a month, yeah. Three weeks. So, they don't know the area very good anywhere, you know. We don't know how close Mexico is to go test this, so... Um, tomorrow I'm going to go on an adventure probably and find Mexico. You know, the Gulf of Mexico is close, so Mexico has to be close. So, we don't really need a dyno for this. I just need to check some stuff out. So, uh, I think I'm going to go jump in their pool because it's Florida and they have a pool in their backyard and I'm still sweating from this fun. humidity. So, Almost I'm loving it though. I com I've complained a lot about the humidity, but I do love it. It's sweet down here. It's fun. I sweat a lot. I don't care. It's been a blast, you know, met a lot of cool people, you know, got to see Cletus, got to see Cooper, um, Carlos Tuning, Pablo, Yost, Shane, everybody. It was fun. Alan, Tina. It was real fun coming down here. You know, I've gone to the track twice, went out on the ocean, been in a couple pools, ate some good food. So just been hanging out down here. Tomorrow, I'll go play with this for a little bit and hop on a plane and go back to Colorado and Finish up some work we got there.